If you want to show data with three variables, a bubble chart is an excellent option. The bubble chart, like all other charts, has horizontal and vertical axes. In addition, the size of the bubbles gives valuable insights about their significance. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Basher, and today I'll demonstrate how to create bubble chart in Excel. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. Here is a business data set. This includes product, marketing expense, sales, and profit. I'll create a bubble chart using this data set. Select cells C5 to E9. Move to the Insert tab. From the Charts section, click on Insert Scatter or Bubble Chart. This will open different available options of Scatter and Bubble Chart. In my case, I will select the bubble chart. You can see the chart is created. Place the bubble chart here to get a clear view of the dataset. To know the details about this chart, right click on this chart area and move to select data. This opens the select data source window. From the chart data range, you can see our dataset is selected as a range. In the legend entry series, series 1 is selected. Now click on edit. The edit series dialog box has popped up. From this dialog box, you can get an overview of this bubble chart. For example, the Series X values are the marketing expense data and Series Y values are the sales figures. Additionally, cell E5 to E9, that is the profit, will determine the series bubble size. To set the series name, click here and type Effect of Marketing Expense on Sales and Profit. Now click on OK. You can see the series name has changed. Now click on OK to close this window. In this chart, the title is added. You can customize this chart to add data labels and excess titles. Click on this plus area that is the chart elements and check excess titles and data labels. You can see the data labels are added to this chart. One thing you can notice about this chart is that the size of the bubbles are in accordance with the profit amount. The higher the profit, the larger the bubble size. For example, 10,000 is the highest profit in this range and the corresponding sales amount is 55,000. You can see that the bubble that contains 55,000 is the largest bubble of this chart. On the other hand, 3,500 is the lowest profit amount and the corresponding sales amount is 35,000 and 35,000 is in the, the smallest bubble of this chart. Now I will set the horizontal and the vertical axis titles. As the horizontal axis contains the values of marketing expense, so I will set this title as marketing expense. And set sales as the title of the vertical axis. So this is the final view of our 2D bubble chart. You can convert this chart to a 3D bubble chart if you need. Go to the Insert tab. From the Charts section, click on Insert Scatter or Bubble Chart. From the Bubble Chart options, choose 3D Bubble. You can see the 3D shapes of the bubbles. And that's it, this is our 3D Bubble Chart. You can create a bubble chart with multiple series. For example, I have Shop 1 and Shop 2 data in this dataset, and I'll create a bubble chart using this dataset. Move to the Insert tab. From the Charts section, click on Insert Scatter or Bubble Chart. Choose the Bubble Chart. As a result, a blank chart is created. Now to add data points to this blank chart, right click on this chart area and go to Select Data. You can see the chart data range is empty here. In the Legend Interest series, here are Series 1 and Series 2. I will insert the data of Shop 1 and Shop 2 in this series. To do so, as the Series 1 is selected, click on Edit. This opens Edit Series dialog box. As a series name, select Shop 1. As a series X axis values, discard the current values and choose the marketing expense values that are cell C6 to C9. And as a series Y values, similarly discard the current values and select the sales values of Shop 1. Now I will add the profit amounts as a series bubble size. Discard the current values and select cells E6 to E9. In this way, the series for shop 1 is ready, so I am clicking on OK. 
you can see that shop 1 is edited. Now to edit series 2, select the series 2, click on edit. I will insert the values to these fields in a similar fashion that I have used in the previous series. For the series name, select shop 2, discard the current values of series x values and select cell C13 to C16. As a series Y values, select cells D13 to D16. For the series bubble size, choose the profit amounts. Now click on OK. This will add shop 2 here. Close the select data source window by clicking on OK. You can see that the series 1 and series 2 values, that is shop 1 and shop 2 values, are presented in this chart. To customize this chart, you can add data levels and chart titles. Click on chart elements and check excess titles and data levels. You can see data levels are added to this chart. Now I'll set the chart title, vertical axis title and horizontal axis title. Set horizontal axis title as marketing expense and vertical axis title as sales. I will set the chart title as the effect of marketing expense on sales and profit. And this completes our bubble chart. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating bubble chart in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge to make your own bubble chart according to your requirement and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit exceldemy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!